believe because he had to join his team and Shelly's doing some poster signings so uh, I'll try to be not biased towards one or the other if not of course I would have been for my country of residence which would be France uh, but for now not yet so we've got Great Britain on the left French on the right and we're counting down to the one minute mark and who's going to take the place in the finals is it going to be France or is it going to be Great Britain so and then next up we've got Norway against the Netherlands so either way it's going to be some great games still this afternoon we've still got three games I'm going to finish a little bit early today but okay hey I can finally I can get a break so and of course we've got a great party tonight here on site because it's Richmond's birthday 50 year birthday happy birthday Richmond and of course Richmond the owner of Traxxas and GI Sports and uh, we'll be happy uh, to everybody around who's around in Paris come on come and celebrate we're gonna have a big party up here or up here down on the field so clock's ticking down French are getting ready British are getting ready and this is for country pride and this is what we call the European Championship and here we go 10 seconds who's gonna take the first point And the French lose one off the break. But the British lose their snake player. And the French also lose their snake player. And they use another one. So some great shooting from the British off the break. And, oh, doubling up on the Rito 1. Going straight into Rito 2. So only two French players left. Against four British. So, well, I have to say the first point will probably go to the British now. Unless, of course, they make a stupid mistake or get a 1 for 1. Which is always possible. But it's four on two. As these are the British. Like they got Snake Corner. Uh, God. The Rito 2 and the Rito 3. And the French are stuck in the back bunker. In the God bunker. And I think in the Rito 1. As far as I can see. But I don't see the French panicking yet. They're still trying to get that shot on. So unless... Oh, and the British player taking a big bite, trying to shoot across. And if he got that shot, I think it's time to hit the buzzer. One player left. Towel, towel being thrown. So the first point goes to Great Britain. Well done. Shot two guys off, or three guys off the break. Very, very nice shots. So well done for the British. That makes it 1-0. And I know if my friend Shelley's going to be really happy with that. So... We've got three more games this afternoon, so we've got this game that's under the way. We've got Norway against the Netherlands, and then we've got the winners of the one game against the winners of the other game for first place. Then, of course, tomorrow morning we'll have, uh, well, tomorrow morning we'll have the CPL games. We already know those. Um, so I can tell you uh, the ones that we're going to have. Uh, the ones we're going to have, uh, I don't know which order yet, but we are going to have... Um, so I know Tom Tons are going to play Carnage in the draw. We've seen Edmonton Impact that I think are going to have Breakout. Then we're going to have um, we're also going to have GI Houston Heat versus Marseille Icon. And the last game, or the game I remember, is Art Chaos against Polar Bear Taco Cell. So all these four games tomorrow morning. I think we first have one or two SPL games. Then we'll have those, and then of course we'll go down to the top four. 2, 1, and then the tournament is already over. It really goes quickly when you're on these tournaments. I mean, we're, on more, I mean, we're already more than halfway through the tournament. And tonight, of course, we've got the big party for Richmond's 50th birthday and, the na of course, the Millennium's 15th birthday. 15 years in a row. So, the French getting cheered on by the crowd. And here we go. Well, the first point was British. Let's see if the French can do something back or if it's all going to be all Britain. Oh, so let's go see if the French what they do. Ten seconds. Split screen breakout. Uh, 
And the French, again, snake player getting shot off the break. And again, five against four. Oh, but now one of the English players getting shot, the one backing up the snake. So both of them in snake two, four on four. Well, you can't see him now. He has to try to wrap around, but maybe it'd be a good idea. But of course, yeah, the French is being backed up. The, the, the English player is being backed up by the corner. And they shot another British play. They shot the snake corner. So now he can go further. Oh, and he gets shot. He gets sloppy. That was very sloppy from him. But straight away, snake two getting filled again. And he got hit. And he got him. So now there's only the snake player from Britain left. And they got him too. So the second point convincingly being French. And the French running it out, whoever wants to bust first. So the French card, of course, we are in Paris Chantilly, so well, the French will cheer for the French, which is normal. And they're happy with that. So, well, 1-1. One, one. Even though the British had an advantage, slight advantage at the beginning, having another, they shot the snake, but it was refilled twice uh, by the French. That was a good refilling every time, good timing, not over pressing it, and they constructed that victory. So as we see the replay here, and that's where the French went wrong. I mean, he bit off a little bit more than he can chew. He was a little bit overzealous. So, great and camera shot all the way from up. And here we can see. And I think I've got, I've got one of my guests coming up. The one I've been trying to get for a long time because they traveled from very, very far away to get here. And I would almost say they came from down under. So, I've got... One of the finest paintball players of Australia from the team Shanigans. Shanigans, sorry, my pronunciation is not always that good. So please have the mic. Hello, there, sir. Hello. Oh. Get that sorted. Wait, yeah, wait. We'll have that sorted. Turn that around. Maybe better. So, how's that been? Yeah. Very good. Really, So, really good is this the first time for you in France? Uh, me personally, yes. First time in so, France. So, how do you like the venue? How do you like the site? This is outstanding. I mean, you, the, the, the arena is awesome. Uh, you've got a beautiful chateau where uh, it's been around for a couple of hundred years. Absolutely nothing this old in Australia. Okay, so I'm sorry, but we have to get back to the game. France on the left, changing sides, of course, after two scoring points. It's one all. And let's see if the British still have that straight. It's very strong. Break out to shoot the snake. Uh, no, he's clean. So five alive, and uh, they shot one of the British players after yep. break. So now it's all France. Oh no, the French also lose. They lose the snake corner. Put a tea bag two for France. Yeah, but tea bag three already for the um, the British. As this is going to be another snake battle. They're snake heavy. Oh, somebody. Oh, and there comes a one for one on the British. And. and oh, and this is all France. And they're running it in. So that was a quick one for one on the British player. And they pulled, of course, the snake corner on that one. And at the same time, the snake got shot. So. Four bodies stood up at the same time yeah. and pretty much walked off. So, for you who come from all in the different continents, 
How is the level of paintball in Europe compared to the level of paintball in Australia? In Australia, so we're playing Open Division One. Yes. Uh, of the, that's the highest division that we can play. Uh, yeah. SPL Two is the next level up. Uh, I think Open Division One for us is a is a good feel. Um, we'll find out hopefully if we're making finals tomorrow just how far we can go. Mm -hmm. But if you see the competition here, I mean, you, of course, you'll be watching um, the European webcast and probably also the American webcast. Absolutely. So, but having played in Australia, I mean, um, in Australia, the leagues you have, yep. is it is about what, what strength would it be about? I mean, would it, would it be SPL, CPL, or what strength would you be uh, able to... I think SPL2, uh, when we have a look at the Millennium yeah. uh, divisions, SPL2, uh, some of our top teams would probably sort of be up there in SPL2. Be up there in yep. SPL2, Okay. But and how do you like it? I mean, how do you like Millennium? I first Beautiful. time you ever played it? Yeah, well, apparently we're the first team from Australia to come over to Millennium. Uh, everyone's been really uh, open uh, and very warm for us coming over here, which has been great. Uh, the venue is just outstanding. Uh, so many vendors, so many players that we only see on the on the webcast. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a, a paint boy, uh, paintball fanboy delight seeing Konstantin Fedorov and uh, Oliver Lang, Brian Greenspan, everyone just hanging out uh, as, as one big paintball community, yeah. so, and that's really cool. I know, well, there are actually a lot of people forget how accessible they are. I mean, if you're on this field, and that's why I tell everybody, come on, come down to the site if you live around Paris, or even if you're not that far away, because you can meet these people, you can speak to them, you can ask them for tips and pro tips and things in, like that. In our last game, we had Nick Slowiak from Houston Heat uh, coaching for us. Ooh. Oh, Nick, you did not. That. That's great. But I love Nick. Nick's is great, a great Good player. Guy. And yeah, well, he hasn't played a lot lately, but I thank God he's going to play again in the States, he told me, when he comes back for the World Cup PSP. Yep. So I'm happy he does that. But Nick Sloviak is one of those people. But all of them, I haven't met a pro yet that you know that has been nasty or not nice to, to, to the other people. Mm. So I think I actually Britain out called a timeout. If I look at this. No, not even. 10 seconds. It's 2-1 to one France. And sorry, Shelley, uh, you're you're going to lose a bet, and that's going to cost you a beer if it continues like this. Uh, and the French again into snake two. And Britain into snake two. And the British lost one of their players yeah. to the God Bunker. And the French are all alive. So five on four. Now, oh, oh, that's not a really smart move. Maybe it is. But he knows he's there now. So now he's waiting, posting up on him, waiting for him to come and get him. So now, now this is the error. And he's gonna go there. Oh, and he gets shot while trying to, to come out. Come and go and get him. Come and get him. Don't let him in there. That's the whole thing. Nobody's watching this side. Teabag one's watching him. Yeah, and even the other one's watching him, but yeah. the problem is he, they should have gone, the snake two should have gone and get him. I wouldn't have waited so long. No. I'm sorry. I would have gone and get him. Go highway. Nobody's shooting highway anyway. Why don't you go highway? Go inside and bunker him out. Britain have two in the snake now. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to shoot. I know what he's trying to shoot. He's trying to shoot the Dorito there. Don't go out too much. Don't go out too much. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, crawl back, get into protection, and then try to sneaky shoot that guy. Now with the... Oh, and he gets Got shot it. across fields from the Dorito. Dorito finally shot him, and now French are going to really go there. Come on, go get him. What are you waiting for? There's still Snake 2. What are you doing? Oh, oh. oh, oh come on. I mean, now that is really, really bad because, I mean, there all the French players have sacrificed themselves. Yep. They were winning it. Oh, we one for one. So what's this? A one-on-one -on -one or is there nobody left? I think nobody's left. I don't left. think there's anyone left. I don't think it either. But the mistake came from the snake payer not committing to getting that guy. I mean, why didn't he bunker him out? He was there for a long time. Yeah. And the snake player from Britain doesn't have a clue, and he's still waiting to see, like, hey, what's going on here?
Oh, and he finally understood. <laughs> As you hear the crowd yelling, tea bag, tea bag. So, well, that took him some time before he got that one. Yes. But the big mistake came from the French Snake 2 player. who should have gotten up and sh I would have gotten him a long time ago. Yeah. Nobody was shooting at him. So then, of course, he was waiting for him to shoot at him again. Yeah. And then you can't go anymore. Yep. Yeah. But in this situation, when you got somebody in Snake 50, the only thing to do is get him out Don't as soon it. as possible. Yep. But okay, twice he didn't commit, and then he committed to going to the 50, but he forgot that Dorito was still shooting at him. And yeah, so he sort of walked into yeah, uh, the paint the stream. Paint. Yeah. So that was kind of, well, they thought they had it too easy because it was three on three. They had better field position, and well, actually they blew it. Let's be honest, they just blew it. They, they had four on three there. Yeah, for four a moment, on three even, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we could say they blew that. Mm. But again, okay, hey, uh, that's where the, the experience comes from. And I mean, that's something we see a lot now with the youngsters. They do have the technical skills to get to their spots, but it's the mid and the end game where we old, we old farts, we, <laughs> we understand what we have to do. And they get caught in, if somebody yells to me, Snake 50, and I'm in Snake 2, I don't care what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get that guy. <laughs> that's the first thing I'm going to do. Why? Because it frees up for me all the rest. Yep. And he moved up and down so much, and he, f and he actually shot so many times across to the other side that I don't understand why he can't remember, oh wait, that's the one I have to shoot and that's the one I should try to... <laughs> so he gets shot by the shot he's trying to do all day long. Well, But anyway, good, all equal again, 2-2, two, two, 3 minutes of 27 seconds of game time, race to 4, and well, I think whoever wins the next point has a good chance of going up to the finals. Yeah. Is it going to be Britain or is it going to be France? And the worst thing is, I think in the last point, well, actually the, um, the the English got a penalty. They got a one they, for one. They did. So I think you guys also use the same system, right? You use penalties. Uh, yes. So we have uh, we use Millennium rules in Australia in the Super Seven series. Uh, the only difference being we we shoot 15 BPS, not 10.4. Oh yeah, that is a big difference. <laughs> yeah, got bigger fields though. Uh, same size fields, uh, regulation. Ramping or semi? Uh, millennium ramping as well. Okay, but um, seven seven for 15. Uh, five men, still five men. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, British losing one and the French losing one, so that equals it out. French in the snake two. Yeah, French in the snake two as the British are. Yeah. Both of them in the snake two. Oh, and there comes oh, a one for one, one for one. one for one on the French. So now, if you're the coach, what do you do? I think I blow the horn. I want a quick elimination. Oh, yeah, run oh, through. If, oh. oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, oh, he shot him on the head. He shot him first, though. Out. Come on, that's a one for one, then. If you continue shooting, then it's a one for one. Yeah. So, this is a weird situation where it's a two on one now. Two on one. And if he shoots one, then it's a. Yeah, but he's going to go wide. That's yeah. what I mean. Smart move. Smart move. So now Tavares is the coach and he's not going to have this for a long time because he knows that this kid can, unless he gets a quick kill. It's just running down the clock. Yeah, but that's in his disadvantage. Oh, Come on, hit the buzzer. What happened? And yeah, good. No, but Tavares just knows how to, how to play this game, so <laughs> that's what I was thinking. So again, it was looking good for the French uh, about three, five minutes ago, yeah. and now it's looking good for the British. The French were looking strong in the early points. Yeah. But again, small mistakes. Small mistakes, but they cost a lot. Yes. And in this game, of course, race to four, uh, it's only 3-2, and I mean, there's t one minute 54, and now the British, the only thing they have to do is sit back and wait for them to come at them. Absolutely. Yeah, and this is one of the, well, I think one of the mistakes is here. Yeah. How can you not know that this kid's there? Come on, you see his barrel. He even saw him. He player that was in there. But okay, I mean, then let's not be too hard. I mean, the refs know what they're doing. Yes. And if they assess that there wasn't a penalty, then there wasn't. He certainly did look like he got a bit of a fright when the when that guy popped up at it. Yeah. 
But he shot him in the head. So... <laughs> Or on top of the hat, not in the head, on top of the hat. That would have hurt. Yeah, if you didn't wear, uh, thank God these guys wear beanies. And the frame's pretty brittle, though. It's pretty brittle. So you guys play in a lot of hot temperatures, probably, don't you? Uh, we, we have four games, uh, four tournaments a, uh, a year. Uh, yeah. We have two that it's in 35, 40 degrees heat sometimes. Uh, yeah, yesterday was very similar to how uh, some of our mid-year rounds go, where it's cold uh, okay. in the morning and the temperature gets up uh, into the 20s. So it's a long flight to come down here, right? It's like, what is it? About 36 hours when you put in the the, the um, stopovers in Ooh. Kuala Lumpur or Hong Kong. And uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's a long, it's a very, very long thing. And then with paintball guns and everything, did that go well? No, so we, uh, being fortunate, uh, we're sponsored by MacDev. So they put us in contact with Max's. Yeah. Uh, and the Max's guys helped us out with guns for uh, okay. training. Okay, so you don't, you don't have to bring them all the way over because that is going to be very hard. Yes. So down to 10 seconds. Is it going to be Britain or France? And the French now can take no prisoners. They have to get in. Britain get an early snake too. Yeah. And nobody shot off the break. Nope. No. Five French. Yeah. But the French have to come now. So let's see if the snake finally... Oh. No. Yeah, oh. they shoot one. They shoot one of the British players on the Dorito side. So now he has to come. And they come know that they have to come. Oh, oh shooting that go. one. Well done. Can they make this? I think they're going to make yeah. it. Yeah. And there they, shoot. they see him. One. It's like whoever, <laughs> I, any of those three could have put some balls on him, and they didn't. So that's a quick French point. 45, 40 seconds? Yeah. Well, the record is 28 up till now, and ah. it's, I think it was in the top oh. line. Penalty. Dirty Ooh. hang. Still Luck. doesn't matter. They're still two alive. Oh. They're still two alive. One, two, they're still three yeah. alive. They can even have another one for one. <laughs> Don't start talking, guys. That man talking is not a good thing. And these refs, they don't take anything. No, no, they don't. So is it kind of the similar refing in, in, in Australia or isn't it? Is it kind uh, of similar? Certainly the, re the referees here get a lot more opportunity to uh, ref tournaments uh, yeah. and uh, certainly don't take as much stick uh, as we might give the referees back home. Okay. Uh, we, we got a couple of penalties today, and that was certainly something that we were conscious of when coming over here, that the refereeing would be uh, at the Tougher. absolute top notch. Yeah. Uh, so we've, we've only, touch wood, managed three penalties in uh, in our three uh, rounds so far. So That's good. No, that's good. I mean, come on, I've seen a lot of teams that are worse than that. I've done worse than that by myself, <laughs> just by myself. So... But anyway, it's great to see people traveling all the way around the world just to come and play here. And of course, you have seen, maybe, uh, did you guys sometimes go to the Asia World Cup? Uh, a lot of Australian teams do. The, that was a choice for us, uh, but okay. we thought we would go a little bit further afield and, uh, and yeah. come over to Europe yeah. and, and give Millennium a go. Okay, well, again, I mean, the venues, well, this is one of the nicest venues we have every year, mm. and I think it's from, from the beauty of the scene, it's, it's breathtaking. Then again, if you tell people, yeah, we're in the middle of a racetrack with museums around and things like that, well, a lot of people don't believe you. And then when they come here, they go like, wow. wow. Yeah, wow. It, it's an absolutely beautiful location to come to. Yeah. And it's something that a lot of people see. And then again, especially if you come from that far. I mean, we've had, well, we had a Malaysian team, I think, once last year or the year before mm -hmm. that. We had a Malaysian team once. And of course, my, my old team, the Tom Toms, they went to Kuala Lumpur and yeah. won the World Cup like yeah. three years ago, four years yeah. ago. As you see now, these are the overviews, drone shots on yeah, the, on the screen. And these are beautiful shots. I yeah. love it. So the French now have got the momentum for them, making a 20 or 30 second point. So, and of course the French crowd the loves crowd this. The crowd is there. just insane here. 10 seconds, one minute 15, overtime point, or is somebody taking the victory? First guy to score a point. Oh, going straight away through the middle. No, all five alive, not taking any risks. Smart move by them, you know, asking for a check. Oh, that wasn't a smart move though. Don't lose your hopper like that. 50 seconds to go. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, and that's not smart. M, M, and the French Snake 1 player doesn't know that there's an M. Oh, bounce shot. 
And oh, that's out, and there comes a penalty. And there comes a penalty for them. So now the French have to capitalize on this. There's only 25 seconds left. Stand up and run. And that's typically where the youngsters, well, they don't get it that well. He gets it, though. Yeah, he comes and gets him. Good. Trades out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's too late. It's too late. Oh, what's going on here? Referee's having oh. a chat. Oh, what's this? That referee came running over, but no. Over so what's this? Let's see what Kenji tells us. Point France, game over. So the French are in, in a controversial battle, where it's wow. the referee's decision. So I'd like to thank you. You know what? If you want, you can stick around for another game, because we've got another great game coming up. I'd be happy to sit here and have Okay, a chat. so I'll be right back after a few commercials with my good friend. He came all the way from Australia, so I want to have him uh, give him an extra go. Okay, see you guys in a few seconds, and say hi to the guys at home. Say hi. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>